Hello everybody, I would just like to document this Honda 4Trax 300 differential swap. You're clicking on this video probably because you have the open axle style differential. I don't have it anymore because it's cut to pieces, but this is what's left of it. So it's this is too with another flange on the side and the bumper. That's like literally it. And then the axles stick out. The problem with that is the seals, they let water in and it just sucks. So you go to the old school Honda design where it's closed axle and it's all sealed up and everything and you have less chance of getting water contamination and getting bearing issues. So here is a Honda 4 Trax 250 from the mid 80s and it's the same as the 4 Trax 350 and the uh, ATC 250 uh, Big Red or whatever and pretty much you cut the flange off of the old axle so it looks like this, but different, it's kind of offset. And you pretty much cut it in half and you try to sleeve it around this axle housing. And you're gonna have to make a shim. So what I do is find one of these from another one of these and cut this and it's bigger than this. And it fits over in between this and you get the bolts in like that. And you get it all kind of semi ready to tack, ready in place. You bolt it up on this side because it's the same bolt pattern and same spline count. So it just bolts right up and that gives you the exact center location. It has no choice. Pretty much, yeah, you get it on. But if you're having issues getting the old differential out, just try to take off the whole thing. Like you don't have to take those nuts off the end. Just take the whole thing off and you can even just cut the end off with the axle still in there, whatever. Um, I guess that'd be the only that might not work, but even if you could get away with it, then uh, you might be able to just take the flange off the old diff without having to pull those nuts off. But I pulled the nuts off and it took a settling torch and a special tool. And here's a recommendation for a special tool get a long flat bar, you make it or a 41 millimeter hex in it. And Instead of buying a wrench or whatever, or two wrenches because there's two nuts, then you just do it like that. and It's enough, but it's like 800 foot-pounds. And then, yeah, you're going to have to take the shock tower or whatever shock mount from the uh, old diff and weld it on here. Make sure she's good. Because the old... old the old one was too thin, so the new shock wouldn't have mounted. And the new housing is a lot skinnier than the old one. But the diff is the exact same, just the... There is no tube on this side, it's just a seal and then the shaft. And the gears are 388 that's what you're looking for. There's 35 teeth on the ring gear and I believe nine on the pinion and yeah I just wanted to make a video so then people have more information on doing the swap because I really couldn't find much but some old forms from over 10 years ago that really don't show much if you have any questions about the build let me know